Hello there, this is Tuomas of Nightwish here, and you have the pleasure of watching Artisan News. Nightwish played New York City's Beacon Theatre on Saturday to a packed house with lines to get in wrapping all the way around the building. The Finnish band is making their first full tour of the U.S. in support of their latest album, Imaginarum. The effort is a bit of a departure from their last record, Dark Passion Play, which was the first effort with new singer Annette Olsen. This album is more of a visual piece, and from the start it was meant to have a strong visual component. Band mastermind Thomas told Artisan News that they've always been a very cinematic band, so making a movie out of Imaginarum made perfect sense. We just thought we'd give it a shot, try to do a movie that would look like Nightwish, uh, and do it for the right reasons. We, didn't, we don't want to break into Hollywood, we don't want to do a big blockbuster, we just basically want to do something really challenging, interesting, new and just to tell a beautiful story. He said that the band has gotten some criticism from those into heavier metal music. We got some criticism from Imaginarium um, saying that this is no more metal, it's just soundtrack, there's too much orchestra, all that. Uh, there is a lot of that, but that's what we wanted to do with this album, because it's a soundtrack for a movie. Maybe next album will be total black metal without any orchestra or keyboards or totally acoustic, who knows. The main thing is that you always need to do what feels right. Lastly, Thomas talked about how tricky it is to mix songs from Imaginarum into their back catalog for their set list this time around, and also about not doing encores. It's a bit tricky, yeah, because there are so many songs you want to do, and uh, we, we don't like to do like those three-hour shows that some bands do, so it's one and a half hours and that's it. We have even quit doing encores now. This encore thing is such such a cliche, you know. You say good night, this is the last song, everybody knows you're coming back. So you kind of want to break the rules. That's what we're doing now. But yeah, there are a lot of songs that we we like doing from the new album, from back catalog. It's just a matter of finding the right harmony and changing the set list a little bit from night to night. Thomas said that he saw the final film about a week and a half ago after they reshot some scenes and tweaked some of the original subpar special effects, and he said he was so thrilled and pleasantly surprised. Nightwish will premiere the film on November 10th with a screening and a concert in Helsinki. There are plans for a limited worldwide release of the film, but details are still forthcoming.